Hey everybody, this is Larry. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know how you're doing this problem. I'm gonna solve it live right about now. Check it out, let me know. Uh, shortest distance to a character. Given a, oh, A21, shortest distance to a character. Given a string S and a character C, we turn an array of integers representing the shortest character or distance from the character C in the string. Uh, S is equal to lovely code, C is equal to ye, okay, and then uh, shortest distance, okay. S is size of, <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. Unlock 3 million million points. Uh, I don't have, I'm, I'm almost to a t-shirt. That I'm excited when I finally get a t-shirt, but, but I don't have that many points yet. Uh, <laughs> size of T is less than 10,000. C is a single character, guaranteed to be an S. Everything is lowercase. Okay. Um, so my first instinct is kind of just like a buffer search. Uh, and then just kind of keep on going, but I feel like there's an easier way to do this, uh, maybe. But, uh, hmm. And, well, I mean, and the other thing is, uh, is that given that n is 10,000, you cannot do n square algorithm. Uh, I think that's, uh, that's too slow. Uh, but, well, no, I mean, it should, it's straight, hmm. I think the other thing I would have wanted to do is kind of um, go through the, the single pass of all the yees and then uh, just kind of, and then you could kind of um, pop them off that way in kind of like a, so that would be all of N because you just keep on going until, uh, yeah, and then you just keep on popping off a list or something. So yeah, let's go, let's do that. Uh, okay. Uh, indices for man, these variable names are kind of bad. But uh, character in S, uh, if character is equal to uh, C, we put it in index, index, indices. Oops. Oh, I guess I've enumerated. And then now, uh, we could do it again, the second pass. Um, and I think we just need to compare it if, with the first couple of numbers, right? Actually, let's use the collection start Q just for me to DQ use here, but it doesn't really matter. You could actually use some sort of um, Two finger algorithm here actually, but uh, but maybe that's fine too. Hmm, okay. Oh, and then just return the results when you're ready. Uh, okay. So what are the cases here? Um, okay. If index is more than indices dot zero then we just uh, append that right yeah because that's the distance else if if index is equal to indices dot zero then well zero else now we have to compare it from the zero index and the first index. Um, so we saw start a pen min of uh, mostly because I'm lazy, so it should be x and uh, okay, but only if. This is, is greater than one. Else, if it's literally only one, then I guess we do this still, except for it's in the opposite order. I feel like there may be a easier thing, but okay. And then now, um, but in this case, uh, if I guess I could break this out actually. If 
index minus indices of zero is less than indices one index. I guess this is actually not necessary. I think this I think this is a win variant that should be true. But uh, so this is the case then we saw set up in uh, index right in this zero. Otherwise then we saw one minus index. Uh, but now we want to pop off the front. That's the uh, critical difference. Uh, we pop left. I think that's maybe all the edge cases. Okay. Uh, let's give it a go. Maybe I'm missing one. Okay. Cool. Um, not that fast, but it's okay. Uh, probably didn't need to actually put in. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so this is linear time because we go through each character uh, once up here, and then it get a second pass here, uh, and each number only in indices gets popped once, uh, or at, mo at most once. Um, so yeah, all of n time, all of n space. Uh, can we do better than that? Um, can I do an over one space? Probably not. Not at least with all of n time. Um, maybe you could do some stuff with binary search, but but then it becomes n log n time with log n space. Maybe so I don't know. But uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna stress too over it. But uh, this is actually kind of a little bit. Hmm. What I want to say was this is actually a little bit hard for a easy problem. So maybe there's a easier answer to be honest. Um, hmm. That is a little bit odd, but maybe not. Because the breadth of search rate is also not that much easier either. Uh, hmm, I don't know. But yeah, but overall, um, it is a, an application of the sliding window, which I think is uh, standard. So. Uh, standard to expect for uh, interviews, um, whether I like them or not. <laughs> so, uh, so definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, oh, is the debugger premium now? Ah, well, didn't you really use it that much anyway? Uh, but cool. Yeah, that's why I for this form. So.